All right, guys, we're going to head down to Menards and take a look and see what they got for micro fireplaces and ways to keep tiny houses warm. We're here. Maynards. I like this store. It's probably my favorite store because you can get everything here. They have stuff for your house. They have stuff for your tiny house. They have stuff for your cabin. And they have deer stands and fishing gear and candy. What else do you need? I'm going to clip you guys right here on my jacket. And hopefully, no one will even notice you're here. So be very quiet because people in St. Louis be a little bit weird. Get y'all clipped in. <laughs> They'll probably think I'm a cop with chess cam. All right, let's go, guys. Ugh, what the hell? All right. And here we are. All right, there is one thing we need. Chimney cleaning brush. All right. was a kit. That's just crazy. This is only $30 on Amazon. Same brand. Talk about a ripoff. That's the thing with Menards is sometimes stuff is cheap, sometimes it's not. What I'm looking for is last time I was here they had a kit that had the brush and the wire and everything you need. We need one of these. Which is better? I don't see it. I guess I'm gonna have to order it. Now, if you guys are looking for a good, inexpensive, cheap way to heat a cabin, I can't recommend the Buddy Heater enough. In fact, any of the products made by Mr. Heater are pretty amazing and um, are great to even have on hand in case of an emergency, especially if you live in an area with rough winters where uh, power can go out frequently. Electric fireplaces work well if you have a generator. We use one in combination with our little um, Dickinson stove. Little electric heaters are also a possibility. Baseboard heaters. I think the electric fireplaces look a little nicer. I mean, that inside of a cabin would look absolutely gorgeous. That really sucks about the brush. These are the pellets that we used in the Dickinson, and they almost caught the house on fire. Do not use pellets in the Dickinson wood stove. 
it just burns too hot. We literally had the stove glowing orange. I was afraid the welds were going to pop out and the fire was just going to fall to the ground. It was... I was two seconds away from pulling the fire extinguisher. That's how scary it was. Oh, let's take a look at some insulation. Oh, where, oh, where could insulation be? Patio, dressers, nightstands, freezers, countertops. I didn't even know this was up here. Cast iron cookware, twenty nine ninety nine. Can't beat that. Camp fuel, twelve bucks. That'd be good for backpacking. I think we're gonna have to ask someone where the insulation is. Excuse me, sir. Where's your insulation at? Yeah, it should be outside in the yard at the back of the... Excellent. Thanks, dude. Oh, bur shit. It's cold. Here we are. Back wall. No, that's for concrete pouring. <sighs> I'll go this way. Does anybody work here? Excuse me, do you have insulation? Insulation, yes. Building materials handles that. They're in the back corner. It's all out in the building behind us. How do I, so how do we go back and out? Yeah. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. That's party. How do I get to where the insulation is? Oh, you want to walk out there? Oh, you just want to look at it? Yeah, I want to look at it. Uh, because we got a display set up inside. Oh, do you where? Right here. Now, if you just want to walk outside and look at it, you can do that too. No, I'd rather stay in here where it's warm, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's a long walk. Yeah, it is. <laughs> We're gonna go to the left. All right. The dis uh, installation. I like all from here all the way down. Oh, great! Thanks. Yeah. The ones with the purple tags on sale. Great. Thanks, man. Appreciate oh, no it. Foam. This. This is pretty good. We actually have a friend who has a tiny house up in Canada, and he used those mylar emergency blankets to line his walls of his tiny house with. Which, if you think about it, I mean, it's basically what this is. Twenty-five feet, sixteen dollars. wonder what our rating this is. Just thick, 15 wide, 40 feet long. We're gonna have to come back this weekend because I don't want to deal with this without John. R11. That's not too bad. So that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So if it's 40 feet, see that's 12. 24. So like 6.
I'm gonna go ahead and get it. I think I wanna go and buy some of that. Okay. You know which one you wanna get? Uh rrr. this stuff right here. I'm make this little lump. Man, that's a good price. Yep, they don't sell six forty nine. I know that's a, get a mail and rebate. That works for me. Yeah. Well, that's three point five inches tall by fifteen inches wide and forty inches long. Perfect. Wait, is that 40 inches long or 40 feet? Right. Yeah, 40 feet. Okay, perfect. Excellent. That's more than enough. Anything else you need, sir? That should, well, I'm gonna get this, these little things too, but. Oh, yeah, you got the pay for those, sir. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna drive it. There's two sheds out there, the first one and the second. The first one is full of all wood. So you're gonna drive it to the second one and go all the way in the back and just look. When you get in there, you're gonna see the numbers like or 13 or 11, and that's where it's at. Okay. Seven of them. Excellent. Go. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Oh, no problem. You have a good day. I need me one of these. Hello. Hello. This. This, this, I got this. You too. What the hey, hey? Only in St. Louis. Only in St. Louis. Wow. That's some class. All right, here we go. And my window don't work, man. Oh, that's all right. Get this scanned in for you. Where they had to. He said the second building? Yeah, installation will be in door 20. So is it the one here on the left end? No, the uh, one on the right. Yeah, the, drive straight in there. The, uh, yeah, door 20, you see it right above. The big, okay, yeah. door 20? Yep. All right, thanks. We're looking for SKU number one six one. This is gonna be interesting. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Six, seven. Well, I guess the GoPro cut out on me. I don't know how much of that you guys caught, but uh, I drove back into the stockyard. I ended up buying the insulation, and 
and uh, I got seven rolls at 50 feet a roll. It should be plenty to do the roof of the cabin and maybe enough to do uh, some of the uh, um, floor or at least um, insulate uh, skirting for the cabin. So, uh, but yeah, at $5 in some sense a roll, uh, I was able to get all the insulation for $45. And now I'm wanting, like, I'm craving, like, hardcore some Burger King, but our Burger King that we have is under construction, and, um, yeah, so no Burger King. And, you know, we got McDonald's the other day. John likes McDonald's. I'm not a fan of McDonald's. I used to work there when I was a teenager back in the 1980s. <laughs> um, but um, neither high nor there. No Burger King. I'm exaggerating. It wasn't the 80s. It was like 1991. Burger King needs to finish. I want my Burger King, damn it. All right, so I texted John, let him know that I ended up buying the insulation. It was not a planned purchase today. I just wanted to look. I had originally went for a um, chimney brush for cleaning our stove. Um, and uh, I bought a magnetic uh, flu uh, thermostat type thing. Whatchamacallit? a thermometer something to that effect and I bought a bow saw because for $6 for a bow saw you can't really beat $6 for a bow saw that's a pretty good price yeah buddy so um, now I think I'm going to go home and look online for the chimney sweep and then uh, probably get it on Amazon even though I'm mad at Amazon but uh, I digress it's where I've got to find it they only had the bristle brush. They didn't have the brush on the little bendy wire at Maynard's, unfortunately. So, then I think I'm gonna pull a piece of Bambi ham out of the freezer, throw it in the crock pot on low with some seasonings, do me up some Bambi, some Bambi barbecue here in a little bit. So, that's what we got going on, guys. So, um, this is Charles with our tiny cabin project. Catch you later.